Amidst the tensions of the Cold War, the Soviets sought to bolster their air defenses against NATO's low-level strike aircraft and menacing cruise missiles. Thus, they set out to develop a formidable aircraft, the MiG-31. As it came to be called in the West, the Foxhound A excelled in high-altitude interception at incredible speeds, proving a worthy successor to the renowned MiG-25 interceptor. The MiG-31 Foxhound A would play a vital role in Soviet air defenses. Its unmatched speed, altitude, and climb capabilities, combined with the groundbreaking Zaslone radar, ensured its success in countering high-flying threats. Continuous upgrades and adaptations have further enhanced the MiG-31's operational effectiveness well into the 2020s, guaranteeing its prominence for years to come in the modern-day battlefield. Just as the MiG-31 combat jet represents the pinnacle of Cold War aviation precision, there's a game that captures the very essence of World War II with the same attention to detail. Our sponsor, Enlisted, is a World War II multiplayer shooter game that brings history alive in a way few games do. The game is rooted in historical accuracy, just like our Dark Skies videos. I personally got a kick out of hopping into a fighter plane reminiscing about our past episodes. But this game is not just about shooting. With distinct campaigns like the Battle for Moscow and Invasion of Normandy, Enlisted is about stepping back in time and feeling the weight of every decision on the battlefield. Plus, the vast array of weapons and the squad feature make gameplay endlessly immersive. No game is ever the same. Enlisted is available on PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5, as well as PS4 and Xbox One, with cross-platform support. And here's the cherry on top. No purchase necessary. To support our channel, click on the link below, and you'll also get three days of premium time, plus extra orders for troops and an assortment of weapons. Lock and load. Join the ranks in Enlisted today. A remarkable interceptor. The MiG-25 Foxbat was famous for its exceptional speed, altitude capabilities, and rapid ascent. Albeit fast, it lacked maneuverability and was designed mainly for intercepting aerial threats using its powerful engines, radar system, and long-range missiles. However, it had limitations at low altitudes, relied on ground-based radar, and was strictly a high-altitude weapon. On the other hand, its successor, the MiG-31, had more powerful engines, better control at low altitudes, and an expanded radar suite managed by a second crew member in the rear cockpit. The first prototype, the YE-155MP, took to the skies in September 1975. Although its appearance resembled the MiG-25, it boasted a longer fuselage to accommodate a radar operator's cockpit. It was a fresh design with significant improvements, most notably its advanced radar system. With the MiG-31, the Soviet Union possessed an interceptor with remarkable long-range capabilities. As the dedicated long-range interceptor, the MiG-31 replaced the Tu-128 in the Soviet arsenal. It boasted almost double the range with superior sensors and weaponry compared to its predecessor. However, upon its introduction, the aircraft was shrouded in speculation and misinformation in the West. In the early 1970s, the MiG-25 was relatively unknown in the West, but the defection of Soviet pilot Viktor Belenko in 1976 provided valuable information. Belenko revealed that a new aircraft was being developed, similar to the MiG-25, but with a reinforced airframe and supersonic capabilities at low altitudes. Improvements The new aircraft, the MiG-31, featured more powerful engines, advanced avionics, multiple hardpoints for missiles, an internal cannon, and an independent interception radar. Western countries were concerned about its capabilities, including counter-cruise missile capabilities. Spy satellites eventually captured images of the MiG-31 engaging and destroying targets at different altitudes, confirming its advanced capabilities. While some of Belenko's details were accurate, such as the two-seat configuration, others, like the air intakes resembling those of the MiG-23, did not hold true for the MiG-31 in its production variants. Nevertheless, the new interceptor was designed to take on fast and high-flying enemies, namely the famous Lockheed SR-71 reconnaissance aircraft. The aircraft had two seats, with the rear seat dedicated to radar control. Having a Weapon Systems Operator, or WSO, in the rear cockpit enhanced the aircraft's effectiveness. The WSO focused on radar operations and weapon deployment, reducing the pilot's workload and improving efficiency. Noticeably, the MiG-31 prioritized speed, altitude, and climb rate over maneuverability. 
as one of the fastest production aircraft in the world. Its main missions included intercepting cruise missiles and their launch aircraft, detecting and destroying low-flying threats like cruise missiles, UAVs, and helicopters, providing long-range escort for strategic bombers, and defending areas without ground-based air defense systems. While flying at supersonic speeds, the MiG-31 could accelerate up to five times the force of gravity. But despite its favorable thrust-to-weight ratio and ability to handle combat weight, it was not designed for close combat or rapid maneuvers. Its wings and airframe, primarily made of nickel steel alloy, which can withstand high temperatures generated by flying at speeds close to Mach 3, were stronger than those of the MiG-25 and allowed it to fly at supersonic speeds at low altitudes. Capabilities Equipped with D-30F6 jet engines, the MiG-31 could reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.23 at low altitudes. Regarding armament, the MiG-31 carried a range of missiles that allowed it to engage and neutralize enemy aircraft from considerable distances. It could hold four R-33 air-to-air -air missiles under the belly and a 23mm cannon with 260 rounds. It also had underwing pylons for long-range air-to-air missiles like R-37 and R-33. But its most notable capability was its groundbreaking Zeslon radar, the first of its kind. This radar could engage high and low flying intruders like cruise missiles and bombers. It had a range of 200 kilometers and could track up to 10 targets simultaneously while engaging four of them simultaneously with its Vimpel R-33 missiles. For a long time, until 2001, the MiG-31 was the only fighter aircraft in the world with a phased array radar until the Japanese Mitsubishi F-2 was equipped with a similar system. Featuring special digital connections called RK-RLDN and APD-518, the aircraft could communicate with ground control centers and join with up to four MiG-31s within 200 kilometers to share radar data automatically and control an area of roughly 900 kilometers. Moreover, it could guide other planes like MiG-23s, MiG-25s, MiG-29s, SU-15s, and SU-27s to targets found by its powerful radar. The MiG-31 could also exchange information with A-50 AEW planes for target identification and air defense. And evidently, the MiG-31 had electronic countermeasures to defend against radar and infrared threats. Team Up Four years after its inaugural flight in 1975, the MiG-31 began to be produced in large numbers. It was introduced into active service with the Soviet Air Defense Forces in 1981. A remarkable total of 519 aircraft were manufactured, establishing their significance as the core of Russia's air defense capabilities. In 1990, the MiG-31B was adopted, featuring the improved Zeslon M radar and enhanced avionics. Existing MiG-31 aircraft were upgraded to this standard, designated as the MiG-31BS. The MiG-31BM, introduced in 1998, is the latest version and an improved variant of the MiG-31B. It is a true multi-role aircraft capable of long-range interception, precision strikes, and defense suppression. It features advanced displays, enhanced radar, and air-to-ground capabilities. Additionally, it can function as an airborne early warning aircraft and coordinate the actions of other fighters. The MiG-31BSM is an upgraded version of the MiG-31BS to the MiG-31BM standard, extending its operational life for at least 15 years, though it lacks in-flight refueling capability. The MiG-31K is a modified version specifically designed to carry the KH-47M2 Kinjal air-launched hypersonic cruise missile. The radar has been removed, and the aircraft carries more fuel. Instrument panels have also been updated, and a total of 10 MiG-31s were upgraded to this standard by 2010. That same year, an initiative was started to improve the lifespan and effectiveness of the aircraft to enhance 100 interceptors to the MiG-31BM standard by 2020. In total, around 110 examples were upgraded to the MiG-31BM and MiG-31BMS standards by 2017, but the plan was to upgrade all the operational MiG-31s. Among these enhancements were better avionics, a new radar system with multiple modes, hands-on throttle and stick controls, color displays, and the ability to carry advanced missiles, including air-to-ground ones like the KH-31 anti-radiation missile. It also has a more powerful computer and digital data links. Based on operational experience, it was discovered that the MiG-31 had limitations in terms of range. As a solution, approximately 40 to 50 planes were equipped with semi-retractable in-flight refueling probes. Presently, 
More than 300 MiG-31s remain operational and are proudly deployed across approximately 15 fighter regiments. Modern Times More recently, in the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, the MiG-31 played a significant role. It reportedly shot down several Ukrainian aircraft using the long-range R-37 air-to-air missile. The MiG-31s could operate without much opposition, because Ukrainian fighters lacked the necessary range, speed, and altitude to engage them effectively. The main threat to the Ukrainian Air Force during this conflict was the R-37M missile, which had been in use since October 2022. The Ukrainian Air Force lacked fire-and-forget missiles, and relied on the R-27 missiles with limited range. Ukrainian pilots had to illuminate Russian aircraft with radar to guide the missile, while Russian pilots could launch their missiles and then take evasive action. To get close enough to fire, Ukrainian pilots had to rely on ground clutter and terrain masking. The MiG-31, with the R-37M missile, along with its superior radar, started causing more losses for the Ukrainian Air Force. Reports indicate that around six R-37Ms were being fired at the Ukrainian Air Force daily, and four MiG-31s were deployed to Crimea. To avoid the R-37M missiles, Ukraine resorted to targeting MiG-31s while they were on the ground. On May 4, 2023, a KH-47M2 Kinjal missile fired from a MiG-31K in Russian airspace was successfully intercepted by the Patriot Air Defense System, according to the Ukrainian Air Force commander. Ukraine confirmed the intercept, stating they used the Patriot missile system to protect the Kyiv region. Then, on May 16th, six KH-47M2 Kinjal missiles were fired at Kyiv, reportedly launched from six MiG-31Ks. Ukraine claimed that all the Kinjals were intercepted, although U.S. officials stated that one of the missiles may have damaged a Patriot battery. Looking toward the future, Russia has set its sights on developing a successor to the MiG-31, known as the PAKDP or MiG-41. This next-generation aircraft will serve as a long-range interceptor. The development of the MiG-41 commenced in April 2013, aiming to create an aircraft capable of reaching Mach 4, based on the foundation of the MiG-31, an initiative favored over restarting MiG-31 production. Despite its origins in the 1980s, the MiG-31 remains in service, and its 61.7 tons holds the record as the heaviest operational interceptor in the world. Step into the battlefield today with Enlisted. Dive deep into historically authentic battles, playing for free using our link below. Plus, enjoy three days of premium gameplay and extra bonuses. Ready to enlist? Experience the thrill of the World War II front lines today.